Picture the Philippines in the 1930s. Gasoline was fully imported. No one talked about renewable energy. Except one Filipino, Julian Bonzon. He kept asking one strange question. What if our fuel is already growing around us? With almost no funding, he started experimenting with coconut oil, sugarcane, and cassava. He had no modern lab, so he built his own equipment from scrap metal, bottles, and reused parts. People thought he was wasting his time. But one night, after processing coconut oil into a clear liquid, he tried it on a small engine, and it started. A Filipino scientist had just proven that coconut oil can become fuel decades before the world even cared about biofuels. During World War II, when materials were extremely scarce, he still continued his work using whatever he could find. His experiments never stopped. By the 1950s, he warned the Philippines would face a fuel crisis if it relied only on imported oil. Nobody listened until the 1970s oil crisis proved him right. Later, scientists realized his work on vegetable oil esters was basically early biodiesel technology made half a century ahead of everyone else. In 1986, he was finally recognized as a national scientist, but his true impact started long before the award. Julian Bonzon showed the world that clean fuel could come from simple Philippine crops and that one Filipino working with scrap tools could invent the future.